Hi, Attorney Steve Whitworth here. Uh, going to speak loosely and broadly about California law and some things that you can do to help yourself if you are ever the focus of an investigation for domestic violence. Please take the following not as legal advice, but as a loose opinion to be broadly construed. Every case is different and unique, and you should always seek legal advice specific to individual cases. With that said, I'd like to speak about domestic violence and the Fifth Amendment. Everyone involved in a domestic violence incident technically has the right to invoke the Fifth Amendment. That's including the person who is alleged to have been the victim of the violence. The idea being that they could have exaggerated in their call to 911, for example, could have lied to the police officers on the initial contact, uh, could have lied to someone else to make them or to create a situation where that person felt like they needed to call law enforcement, but based on facts that weren't entirely true, which is essentially fraud, misrepresentation, and or lying. So everyone in the moment can not interact with law enforcement. That would be one way of keeping it a family matter and allowing a family to resolve the situation without public scrutiny and without law enforcement being involved. Generally, if law enforcement gets involved, they are going to take someone from the home and it's generally the male. Uh, sexism is reversed a little bit and uh, the stereotypes are alive and well in domestic violence cases. With that said, the role play when you're interacting with law enforcement would be the following. Officer, I respect what you have to do. I'm uncomfortable speaking with you without an attorney. I would like my attorney now uh, and uh, that person can interact with you and answer any of your questions. Of course, it won't be as potentially elongated or articulated as that. It can simply be, I want to talk to my lawyer. And you just keep looping that and making sure that they understand it. It creates a wall and an obstacle which constitutionally they can't surmount. Um, and it allows you time to regroup, get your facts together, and to present a message and present what actually happened to law enforcement at a more appropriate time. I hope this was helpful, and I look forward to interacting with the public. Stay safe and um, keep your head down in these uh, crazy times.